stuk 19. Wat is sterker als camel filters? So wat is camel filters? The cigarettes. It is the morning after the situation with Lean's mom being drunk at school and Lean and Bram, they're walking together to school in silence. Usually Bram rides his bicycle, but this morning he decided to walk with him. And at school, he just said to her, fast bait, good luck. At school, Lynn is quite um, surprised that no one in the class said anything about what happened at school. And she's quite like relieved about it. However, at first break, Lynn froze when she saw Sally in the bathroom. Sally didn't look at Lynn. However, she looked at herself in the mirror and then said to Lynn, to herself, my pa drink work, meaning my dad also drinks, referring to Lynn's mom that she saw drunk. And she also says that hy rook ook goed wat baie sterker is as camel filter. So this is where the, where the chapter title comes in. She, she's now sharing that her dad also drinks, that he's also an alcoholic, but he also smokes things stronger than cigarettes. What is he smoking? Probably weed. And then she looks at Lynn and tells her, it is not our fault. Lynn is quite shocked and then she feels like they had a little moment. Just before second break, Lynn gets a message from Tani Betts. She phones her, Tani Betts tells her, I made food, you and Ram need to please come over after school. After school, Lynn and Voter walk home, like, like always. However, none of them mentions anything what happened the day before, and Lynn is quite grateful for that. At their flat, Lynn and Ram go to Tani Betts' flat, and then Kaifi, the woman is also there. And then Lynn knew mm, something's going on. They all sit in the living room and then Kathy tells them that they spoke to their mother this morning and she agreed to go for treatment. She agreed to go to a clinic. She was admitted this morning and she will be away for three to four weeks. Tony Betts will look after them and the, their mom will not be allowed any contact um, with them, like no, no phone calls or vis visits for the first few days. Lean is back at begging. And obviously she told Tibby and the rest what happened, although they do not feel sorry for her. Tibby tells her, is being very sarcastic, saying, this was your school that your mommy keep drink. Like, it's your fault your mom drinks, right? And he tells her, people will know it's not her. It's not her that, that was drunk. It was her mom. And he tells her, like, one day this will all be forgotten. When, when you are sitting overseas, you will, uh, you will forget all of this. The same way she will forget Tibby and the rest as well. Initially, Lynn enjoyed her mom not being at the flat. She enjoyed the, the, the quietness and not having to worry about her mom. Although now it's becoming quiet and she's becoming lonely. Bram is not there much of the time. And she needs someone to talk to. A few times she contemplating sending her mom a message. Something just generic like, we hope you are well. Something, because she, no, she, she didn't want to be all, all lovey-dovey. Although... She didn't send it. And then luckily she remembers, oh, she's not allowed to send a message anyway. So she didn't feel that bad about not wanting or not sending the message. One day she saw Tani Betts at the lift. And then Tani Betts tells her that her, her, her mom mag no besoekers ontvang. So now her mom is allowed to get visitors. And she asks her, she tells her, I'm going to visit your mom. Do you and Bron want to come with? Lynn doesn't want to go. And she makes up an excuse and she tells her, you know what, I'm rehearsing the play and Brahm is probably going to have to uh, practice cricket. And then she kind of feels felt, um, like bad for just speaking for Brahm. Although she thought to herself, she doesn't want to go to that horrible place. And she also thinks that it must be filled with just drunk, homeless people. Lean is now rehearsing the play and the day called building now moved into the hall and onto the stage. And now it's chaos and it's noisy. Here for a Breitenbach, um, freaked out and she said just go have a break for 15 minutes during that break Lean and Brahms having a conversation she asked him Will you really a procurator? do you really want to become a lawyer and he tells her no his dad wants him to study because his dad never studied but she asked him what do you want to do and he says he wants to build stuff with his hands like his dad after rehearsal, Lean drove home with Nini. Mimi tells her that her dad is in Kairu for work. She invites Lin over to come visit the weekend. She says Roberta, the chef, can make them anything they want. Lin thinks and she tells um, Mimi that, you know what, her mom is not there and she needs to look after her brother, um, Bra. She tells her, you know what, 
we can send him food over or he can also come along or he can just come and eat um, at our house, sleep on it and then tell me tomorrow. That evening while sleeping, Lean dreamed about the blonde twins that used to be her friends, Tumari and Samari. She dreamed that they were um, swimming behind this glass, glass wall. She tries to get their attention, tries to talk to them. However, she does not succeed. The next morning she woke up, she, she, she contemplated phoning them because they were after all her best friends, but she didn't have the guts. She also thinks back to Hello, oh, Hayes and hello, oh, Lieber, the old house and the old life, and thinking, was that really true? Did that really happen? Because now it just all feels like a dream. Okay, guys, this was Wirfstek Nirendin. I hope that this helped you. Goodbye.